Hello my people, how na day? I greet you now from Otoshi Bumama. How na do we? As on a thing they like, share, comment, go, go really bless you now. My brothers and sister, na no say everybody must talk their own about this Udumenje with the other Jesus. I still carry this one, can't give you now, I'm still listening. What did this woman talk about what did they go on? She said, People must learn for this one. Then go learn. Then go hear words. Only God know. He say if not, uh, wait, uh, wait here. That, uh, that Jesus talk about uh, Udumeje. She not say not be true. Or she not say not be lie. She not fit to say not true or not lie. But all what she wants. Hmm? May people learn from this. Eh? Even though say you be commenting, you be this one. Try to learn from what it happened to this girl. People will feel learn, they will feel mind their business, they will feel only God knows. She talked many things about the girl. She not support a that Jesus for insulting those people way way insult. He not still support um Odumeje for saying no, I not go forgive. Then later I can't forgive. So but he say if people try to mind their business Everything go they okay. That one go hard because they they not go mind. You know, say some people they they do comedy. They will say they be comedian. My people more than listen to what he talking. Not talk anything bad. Do not do one bad bye. My people, honestly, I'm not happy. Um, this is not a video of joy. It's a video of sadness. You know. Um, when a young life it is taken, it hurts. Um, at that Jesus had kidney problem and so we all know that now her chances of survival could be 50-50 and from everything we have been hearing since yesterday we lost that girl and it's such so painful you know I feel pain in my heart because I hoped with everything that is in me that that girl will survive it but she didn't obviously what well, the Bible said, in all things we give him thanks, for that is his will and his desire for us. She was just 24. She just clocked 24, just two days to her death. Now, the question is, what do we take away from this? What are the lessons we have to learn? Because so much controversies accompanied her sickness, her demise and everything. So, but in everything, there's always a lesson to learn. We need to learn lessons about the things that happen to us because sometimes life will allow these things to happen so that we can learn and we can be able to know how to deal with people, relate with people in future. The truth is that nobody is perfect. We all have we all have our flaws in different ways and different places. But this actually would have taught us, number one, for coming from a daddy's office angle right now, that even though you want to be a star, even though you want to be popular, even though you want, you know, to be recognized, to be a, a celebrity, you have to be mindful of the things you do. You you don't have to step on people to make yourself happy. You know, there was a video she was talking about that some of the things she was doing, she was doing to make herself happy. That's okay, but you can also make yourself happy at the expense of other people's unhappiness. So that was not a good thing to do. So we have to learn now to mind our tongue I'm not saying that most of the things she said might not be true. The possibility is we don't know. I mean, by the time they took her to the hospital, uh, to, sorry, to the church and to all those marine temples she went to, she was not talking. You know, it's not as if she, she was talking. She was not. She was already down and out. So they took her to those places. I'm not saying that what she said or what didn't, what didn't happen. Or, no, I'm not. I, didn't, I wasn't in the picture. I don't know what happened truly. It's between her and her God and the people involved. I can never be able to understand it. It's their experience and we need to leave it at that. However, this also taught me that no matter how angry you get or how people upset you, it's not always good to run to the social media to start calling people out. A lot of us do it. Small thing, you just run, they're calling somebody out. No, because the truth is that there's a way you say it becomes the, the, the difference becomes irre irreconcilable. 
no matter how you quarrel with somebody, you have to do it in a way that at some point there can be room for reconciliation. The kind of things we say can block reconciliation, can store reconciliation. That's one lesson I've learned. So don't speak in anger. Don't come out to the public to start talking about what somebody did to you. Because times change and so do people. That's number two lesson. Number three, we need to stop insulting other people. No matter what happens, you know, there's nothing wrong with you coming out to criticize what people did or what somebody had done and all of that. But there's what is called constructive criticism. All of us, many of us don't know what that is. You know, we do destructive criticism. We criticize to destroy. Instead of criticizing to build, criticizing to construct a better life, we criticize to destroy. destroy. If somebody has done something bad, you don't need to come out and destroy that person in the process. But you can constructively criticize the person so that the person can reconstruct what the person has done. But when you destroy, you do destructive criticism, you bring in the person's, person's personality, you bring in the person's image, reputation and everything and that can be permanently damaging. That explains why Odumeje and Rita Edoche reacted the way they did. Because in, even though Ada might truly be venting her anger, even though she may have had an experience, I don't know, I don't know that, we don't know that. However, her coming out to you know, destructively criticize led to Odumeje's reaction and Rita's reaction, the outburst. Because the truth is that when somebody damages your image and your reputation, you can't take it back. So we have to learn to be careful. And to people that reacted, we also need to understand that anger worketh not the righteousness of God. That no matter what the person does, be careful how you react. Because the Bible says, be careful for nothing. Anger walketh not the righteousness of God. And it is at that time that you're tested as a Christian. You're tested as a follower of God. When you are able to look in the eye, somebody that hurt you and say, I forgive you. It hurts me, but I forgive you. It's breaking my heart, but I forgive you. I know I can deal with you, but I forgive you. I know I can destroy you, but I forgive you. I know I have the power to send you to prison, but I forgive you. I have the power to call police for you, but I forgive you. I have the power to sue you to court, I forgive you. I have the power to do anything, but I forgive you. That's a greater power. When you know you have the capacity to destroy somebody and you restrain yourself from doing it, that's a greater power. And that we have to learn. There is great power, dignity in restraint. In knowing that you can, but you chose not to. So let's learn the lesson to mind our own business. And if we must get into somebody's business, to constructively get into that business, not destructively get into that business. This goes out to all the social media presenters who come on every day to insult themselves. I will kill you. I will deal with you. I will throw you. I will eat you. I will chop you. I will cut you into pieces. It is not necessary because when that person in Aguayan, he don't know whether the person is sick. You don't know whether the person did water to go. He don't know anything. You come out there, talk, I will kill you. I will, I, will, I, will, I will make you mad. I will make you crazy. Tomorrow, you are done. That's not good. That's not good. Because you put it on. So let us be careful. This should teach us a lesson. I hope a lot of the young people presenting on social media, young people, I hope you learn that there is what is called constructive criticism. When you do that, it helps construct or reconstruct for a better life and change. And that's what is called destructive criticism. When you do that, you destroy everything and it is difficult to build back. So let us learn a lesson from this girl's death. Don't be a celebrity by all means. Don't try to be popular by all means. Don't try to be popular by force. Don't do anything. Don't do everything. Some people say, I can do anything. That is wrong. I can do everything. That is wrong. Okay, Chuku Kama, God's time is the best. If God has destined you to be great, you will be great. If God has destined you to be, to be rich, there's nothing chidera or the chago. Let us please be careful. And we pray that her soul will rest in peace. May the soul of our dad Jesus and the souls of the faithful departed through the mercies of God rest in peace. And we hope that her 
she finds peace her parents find strength and god consoles the heart of everybody and anybody and you know like this has also shown how good nigerians are you know you see that no matter what our humanity is still there our divinity is still there some people still came out took her to hospital and paid up the bills god bless you guys thank you so much my name is ugomba cj mama and i wish all of us the best we wish ourselves and pray that when we rise up again to destroy or to, to 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 criticize people let's do it constructively and not destructively and when somebody walks up to you and says i'm sorry about what i did learn to put your anger in check and learn to know that restraint is power restraint is strength restraint makes you more powerful than anything i love you stay out of trouble god bless you bye-bye